So good everyone, this is Global Education Zone Mathematics once again and in this video I will be doing a continuation of where I stopped from. I was talking about cyclic quadrilaterals, right? And the cyclic quadrilateral theorem was formed from the angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference theorem. So this is a derivation of angle at the center is equal to twice angle of the circumference. How? Look at this. Now, if this angle is x, then this will be 2x because angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. And for one quick tip for this type of angles, if the angle is inside, it is the one inside that you are going to pick, not this one here. So you, the, for the angle at the center, it's not this one outside, the one inside you pick. Well, if, if the angle is facing inside, then you pick the one inside. So this one is this one. Then for this one, you pick the one on the other side here. So y is 2y. So the angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. So and if 2y plus 2x is 360, that means y plus x or x plus y will be 180. That means this x plus y is 180. So that's how this, um, this um, opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral is equal to 180. That's the proof. Now, and also there's another second proof here for exterior angle, which says that if this, if, if this one is y, then the other one will be 180 minus, minus y, right? So if x1 plus y is y, that means x2, and x2 plus y is y, that means x1 is equal to x2. That means the exterior angle of cyclic quadrilateral will be equal to the opposite interior angle. So that's, those are the proofs of, the, of these angles. So then we'll move to a summary of what we're talking about. So in this video, we'll be talking about five theorems so far. And these are the five theorems, yeah. So the first one is that, the first one is a straight line from the center of a circle that bisects a chord is at right angle to the chord. And this is how it looks. A straight line from the center of a circle bisecting a chord. This is what they call a chord. This is called a chord. So this is a chord. This is a chord. So, and when a straight line meets this um, chord, when it bisects the chord, when it divides the chord into two, it's automatically at right angle to the chord. Then the second theorem is that the angles obtained at the center of the circle is twice the angles obtained at the circumference. So that means this angle here, this angle here, this one here, will be twice of this one. So this one here, this angle here, will be twice of this one. And then this angle here, Will be twice of this one. So if this one is facing inward, then this is the inward angle you choose. Then if this one is facing this other side, you choose the one that is facing the other side. So that's the theorem. And then the third theorem is that angles in the same segment are equal. So angles in the same segment of a circle. So what does that mean? These angles. Anytime you see something like this that looks like X, it's they're asking you to verify angles in the same segments. So and not just that. But these angles, these two angles, they have their they, they, they have their base from this um, chord. So and this chord separates the circle into two segments, segment one and segment two. So these two angles have their bases from this chord PQ. That means these two angles will be automatically in this same segment, this segment, this is the other segment, this is the smaller segment, this is the bigger segment. So these two angles, angle A and angle B, they are in the same segment. So they are equal, automatically equal. So that's the third theorem. Then the fourth theorem is that. The angles in a, in a semicircle is a right angle. So this angle here in a semicircle, when you have a semicircle, this is a chord. When a chord passes through the center of a circle, it's called a diameter. And the diameter subtends a semicircle. So this is a semicircle, this is a semicircle. So that means this angle AXB automatically is a right angle. And a right angle is 90 degree. So and the last one we're talking about today is opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. So what does that mean? Supplementary in terms of Mathematics means 180. One time yes supplementary it means that they add up to 180. You understand? So this angle and this angle, they are 180 when you add them together. So the next thing we're talking about now, we'll be doing questions and answers. We'll be answering four different jam questions. So stay tuned.